political lessons have enormous influence on the person that Judy Gumbo becomes as she negotiates the transition from a self-defined, quote, girlhood to womanhood. Much, but not all, revolves around the feminist revolution and the desire to become one's own person and not have choices dictated by others. Coming from a family imbued with absolute political values in a Canadian culture emphasizing self-effacement, Judy had to struggle to keep expectations set by others from defining her. This meant abandoning passivity, fear, and self-hatred. By her own admission, she had to learn to speak on her own terms in the forthright way of the confident person she wished to become. Yet this became difficult when one is not yet sure of who that person is. Does freeing yourself simply mean having your own adventures and making your own mistakes? Gumbo's movement adventures are shadowed by feeling invisible as a woman. Instead, in, uh, instances of toxic male ego tripping and the temptation of, quote, the cords of fame and celebrity worship. On a visit to Vietnam, however, she vows to learn empathy and compassion for others and herself. Whether this figures in a growing distrust of radical dogma is something readers will have to judge for themselves. In the end, she comes to believe she is capable of personal intimacy and, quote, the complexities of romantic partnership without losing the freedom to be herself or sacrifice egalitarian ideals. The once radical trope of smashing monogamy, she tells us, got smashed on May Day, 1977, when she and Stu Albert married after nine years of a tumultuous liaison. Yippie Girl describes what it's like 